welcome back to my Ramsa only Final Fantasy Tactics challenge run. In the last episode, you saw me um, successfully beat the challenge, the initial hurdle of the Magic City Garland battle, the first real battle after the, the tutorial battle. This, this is such a great relief to me. I, I always knew that that battle would be the defining battle. If I could do it, the run would live. If I could not do it, the run was dead in the water. And so now the challenge is balancing grinding with optimizing the character as quickly as possible because after a certain point, grinding in random battles is going to be hellaciously difficult. About around level 12, 13, 14, it's going to become nearly impossible without the right skill sets. Because, um, you know, the, the monsters that you encounter are level with you, and that's it's going to be really, really difficult. So, let's go ahead and dive on in and see where we're at. First thing I'm going to want to do is optimize my skill choices. Spend some job points that I earned in the last battle. And I've got enough for game JP up. Next one on the target is move plus one. After I get those, I'm going to be abandoning the squire job. But actually, I think what I'm going to do is I need... I don't desperately need auto potion because my end, my end goal, my end plan is to get the monk reaction ability um, of restore HP critical. But... I might, I might change the chemist. The other reason I want to change the chemist before my next battle is because I want to unlock the magic user classes just as an option. I don't, I don't, I really don't anticipate being a mage much, but I might, I might grind a little bit as a mage, especially. As a black mage, um, to get the frog ability, which will make grinding a lot easier otherwise. Um, because if I could just turn everyone into a frog, then they can't damage me hardly at all. Um, the other route for grinding is going to be the knight class, power break and speed break, especially power break. Um, these two abilities are going to be critical for my for just a successful run and, and in order to grind at all uh, but I feel like that's still very dangerous uh, in comparison to the, the black mage job um, using frog so let's see Honestly, I don't know what I want to do. Um, if I'm going to do it, I need to do it now because in the next battle, I have Algus and Delita to help me, um, and it's a relatively easy battle. So I could be a chemist without a great amount of danger to myself. I think I think I'm going to do it. So I need to change my ability set to something I could actually use. I guess I could use an archer ability, but I don't want to waste the points willy-nilly, and I don't really need the charge skill. Alright, we are kitted out. Time for some story. Rank of Heavenly Knight. Brave 
Carl Bangs was facing his last days. The end of the 50-year war, G.B. Olf Residence. How goes the battle? Through swift action, we were able to recover Limbury. It's only a matter of time before the Mordalia army leaves Zeltenia. Don't worry. The secret messenger you sent to Count Lenario has returned. Count Lenario has agreed to your plan. Good, then, at last, this long war will finally come to an end. Father, don't cry, my daughter. Where is Ramsa? Just when we need him most. Stark, Salvag, my beloved sons, take care of Ramsa. He may be your half-brother, but he is my own flesh. Father! Lower your voice. I'm glad you came. Let me look at you. Father. It's been a long time. You've become a fine man. You start at the academy in spring, don't you? Listen, Ramza. Abiolv has served the royal family for generations. The warrior spirit is in us. Never shame your name. Never tolerate injustice. Living true to your heart is the warrior's way. The Beolv way. I understand, Father. Delete is a good boy. He should serve you well. I've asked the Dean to accept him into the Academy. It shocked the Dean a bit. He will serve you well. Treat him well. Y yes, Father. Take good care of Alma. Become a fine knight, Ramza. That we shall. Just gonna save in the off chance I need to restart. I don't wanna have to go through that again. Central position is going to be ideal. Uh, one thing I didn't factor on was his very low HP. I didn't realize it would be that low. I was not paying attention. Well, we're going to give this a shot. And the mistake HP is just rubbish. Let's, let's see what happens. Going to definitely rely heavily on. Algus and Delita for this battle. I probably should have stocked up on a few potions. I think the default stock's about seven or eight. Uh, I mean, that should make us. That should see us through. Still breathing. What do we do? Don't be stupid. We just need to get the marquee right. Hey, don't blame us. Blame fate. What? Damn. The Lucrative Knights. Death Corps? They're attacking someone. Our duty is to destroy the Death Corps 100%. Never pick the other one. Get them. Are you mad, Ramsa? Leaving him stranded? Is this how you fight? I'll save him. Yeah, if you pick the other option, your win condition includes not letting Algus die, which is a bit of a hairy situation because he almost always... Well, in a normal playthrough, you can get through without him dying pretty easily, but 
in this kind of situation, it's a good chance he's going to die. Uh, re re reinforcements? Thank God. Only 20. Sometimes he does more. Bad affinity. But only 12 on him, so that's good. I think I'm gonna play the traditional healer role and just make sure no one dies so that they can continue attacking. It's not very glorious, but I don't even remember the range of a potion. Way too far. Mm, I, uh, no, five percent chance of missing and the full mist. If he hit that, that would have been amazing because he would have had the log jam right at the right at the gate. I shouldn't have come so far. He's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna attack and move, and he's gonna strand me there, which is not very kind of him. This is a good situation. We got a passive Thermopylae situation going in here. One man holding off seven, or six rather. But he's gonna attack and run. What a fool. Saving Grace is none of, no one on their team can actually use potions. That is a bit annoying though, throwing stones. I think he was the only one who killed though. Okay, if Danita hits the stone thrower, that's the best case. Not the best case, but uh, still okay. Mm, no one really needs healing, and I don't want to waste a potion on four HP for myself. I'm just going to wait. My turn will come around quicker next time. Wow, what a weird choice. He could have attacked and he threw a stone instead. wonder if he was aiming for me. Because if they you know, try to line up a shot and someone else is in the way, it'll hit them. Very glad he did that. He could have got Delita very close to death. Well, we got three or four of their guys in near critical or critical condition. Um, things are looking pretty good for us. We just need to start mopping up these guys. Now, I could get a shot on that guy or just heal Delita. I think. Smart move is to heal Delita. Uh, just for the sake of knowing, I want to go here and see what I can do. 
and I could finish him. But I really need Delita to live. This is gonna be Jared's gonna come. He'll move here. Algus will finish one or the other of these off. And if I actually finish this guy off, he'll finish the other one off before Delita will get hit. If he was a real dude, he would have moved in front of the bobcat there, uh, the coral, but... Oof. Oof. Risky. I should have healed him. That's okay, we're doing, we're doing pretty well, all things considered. Phoenix stands, no. Let's top off Algus a little bit. Got two guys within one hit, and we just got the thief and the cat to worry about. Should have gone to the other side of the thief. He would have been protected. I'll go there for him. And I'll be protected. Got three guys within one hit. And the red panther is what they call them in this game. In Final Fantasy lore, I'd call that a coral. Dangerous. I think we'll be okay though. Good man, good man, finish him. I thought he was going to get the crystal. He's just running away. I'll get this crystal. Actually, I think it's worth wasting a potion just to see what abilities I can inherit. But I don't want to move over there without full health because that cat is slightly dangerous. <laughs> uh, a quick change. Lovely. It's worthless. Thanks, I hate it. Only ten. It's gonna be a cakewalk. crystallize because that'll just waste time it won't be the end of the world but it would waste time if the, if the red panther gets that crystal but his turn is out of sync and he won't even have a chance now I guess we'll finish him 77% shot oh nope he's gonna dash Try 
treasure. Get a broadsword. I could have finished it, but I wanted to see what the treasure was. And I want to see. Got 199. I need 400 to get that. I don't. I, I won't really need Phoenix down, though, because I'm grinding solo. Unless there's a scenario where I want to raise Delita or something. Uh, but even, even if I did that, it would be just a war of attrition because Phoenix Downs only restore you up to 13 HP, give or take. Um, so... I won't really have another opportunity to grind out a chemist though because... Next opportunity would be door to trade city. The only only reason I could do that is if I was very high level and could afford to be a lousy chemist. Uh, otherwise, those knights and wizards and archers are going to wreck me. Uh, so I think I think it doesn't matter if I save the, the experience or not. And so we're going to just. I, I do want the experience though, as much as I can. I need to grind as much as I can, even if it means wasting a potion for 50, 50 gil. And this way at least I'll get the, the killing blow, blow too, plus the bonus uh, 10 uh, experience points for finishing him. Uh, if I tried to get the crystal, I wouldn't even be able to get it, and there's no guarantee that there's any good abilities, so I'm just going to try to finish it. Are you okay? Barely. But the Marquis... Marquis? You mean Marquis Elmdor? Yeah. Who are you? We're military cadets. I think we can help. Tell us more. Congratulations, battle complete. Okay, with some of those potions, I really need to not forget to stock up potions. I, anything that's out of the norm for me in a normal playthrough, I, I tend to forget and buying using potions really not my thing because i'm just all go take out the enemy quick 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 swarm them uh, but i can't really swarm anyone with just one guy so my strategy my tactics got to be a little bit different um, i'm algus of the limbry aegis knights a knight i mean a cadet like you all I'm Ramza the Old. This is Delita, a good friend. The Old of the Hokuten. Excellent! How lucky I am! Huh? I beg you, please help me save the Marquis. What are you talking about? The Marquis is still alive! They've kidnapped him! He will be killed if we don't act fast! I don't know what I would do if... So please, help me, please! Relax, we don't know for sure he'll be killed. There must be some reason for the death court to take him. They might have made some demands. Besides, there's nothing we can do. The Marquis was kidnapped, and I'm sure by now everyone at Egros Castle is up in arms. First, we should go to Egros and report. All right, let's do that. Hmm. Okay. Learning how to push in not going to be possible 
learning high potion not going to be feasible because by the time high potions are available I will have already learned chakra um, I think in the immediate running phoenix down is going to be the most useful to me uh, yeah that's what I'm going to do uh, squire I need to change back to just long enough to learn move plus one Although I did earn about 20 um, auxiliary or extra, whatever you want to call it, um, job points from, from August and Delita being Squires as well. That's a tricky one. What do I want to do? Uh, I think... I think I will be a squire. Or will I be a knight? I think I can grind out one level, one one random battle with a squire, and then switch over to knight and grind out a knight a little bit. I think that's the move. So I really, I really want the move plus one. Okay. Definitely saving our progress as we go. And checking out a little more story before I resupply. the first troops. I'm proud to be your brother. The senior statesman spoke highly of you. You are truly descended from the olds. Thank you. Aren't you happy? Oh yes, I am. Thank you for the kind words. You might have heard about the enemy attacking Elmdor's carriage and kidnapping him. What would you have us do? I've already had Zalbag send out a search party. He'll probably demand a ransom if he's still alive. Highness, please let me have a hundred soldiers. Mm. I beg you, let me avenge my comrade's murder. I said it's taken care of. Didn't you hear me? Galleon is, isn't any place for you. Let us handle it. But, but... Think of your rank, Galgus. Have you forgotten you're just a soldier without rank of knighthood? Uh... I want you to guard Idris Castle. It shouldn't be so difficult. Danger probably won't get this far. My family was once respected like the Beolves. My grandfather was captured during the Fifty Year War. He sold his friends out to the enemy to save himself. But as he left the castle, he got stabbed in the back by a cadet, just like myself. One of my grandfather's friends managed to escape and spread the story around. Of course, my father didn't believe it, but everyone else did. They deserted him. Rank. Die Stark would never meet with someone like me. Alida, Teta, Alma, Zalbag. Brother Ramsa, you came back. Long time no see, brother. I heard how you beat the thieves in Garland. That's worthy of a beolf. I'm sure father would have been pleased with you. Thank you. Heh, 
haven't changed a bit. You don't like that much, eh? Delita, you look good. I heard about your role also. Just look how happy Teta is. Delita, I'm glad you're doing well. And you also. How is your schooling? Fine. Everyone is so nice to me. I'd like to talk more with you, but I must hunt down some thieves. Pardon me. I pray for your victory. The Death Corps have demanded a ransom. What? I can't understand it. The Death Corps claims to be an anarchist, but they only rob and hurt the nobility. It's hard to believe they would kidnap the Marquis just for money. Absurd. Why, they're nothing more than knaves, I say. The spy we sent still hasn't returned. He's probably in trouble, but the nobles say there's no need to search for his whereabouts. Where was he when you last heard from him? A trade city called Dorder, east of Galleon. Guarding a castle is boring work, don't you think? Teta, I'm sorry. We must go. Don't worry about me. Just take care of yourself. Don't worry, I'll come back safely. So be a good girl. Well then, let's go, Aldous. What Teta said is not true. Actually... Something wrong with Teta? She's been picked on at school because of her rank. Sorry, I shouldn't have worried you like that. Teta will be okay. I'll be there for her. Trust me. I'm not worried, but don't you overdo it. You're the one going too far to meet their expectations. Just be yourself and don't be restricted by your name. You sound like our mother. <laughs> Okay, grinding time. <laughs> a lot of this is going to depend on luck. If I if I draw a battle with six enemies, five enemies, really not doable. Uh, four enemies, possible. Three enemies, definitely doable. Two enemies, piece of cake. Uh, just going to make sure my abilities are good. Get my items back. I'm wondering if maybe I should do a wizard with ice because ice is goblin's weakness. Mm, frog is expensive. I don't think I'm going to be able to grind it all the way to frog. Um, but no, I think it's going to be much more valuable to be able to heal, especially this early. 30 HP is huge. Um, that's like two hits two or one and a half hits depending on, on uh, the monster's affinity with me so I think I think we're gonna leave it at that I'm gonna save it so I don't have to replay any uh, dialogue in the event that I fail and it's a good thing we didn't get an encounter because I forgot to buy more potions only had three that might have been enough but Go ahead and get another 20. 33. Plenty now. And I prefer from this side anyway. Um, I'm, I'm more familiar with the, the random map setup uh, and the potential for where the enemies will spawn on this, on this setup. Now normally... I'll position Ramsa here and the rest of my crew thusly. But we cannot do that. I think I 
think here is... I think right here is going to be safe. Um, if I put him here, he is liable to be attacked. Here or here, he could be attacked even before his first turn. Here, I think he is safe, but also within range of attacking someone else, potentially. Um, that's going to be the whole key to succeeding, is limiting the number of people who can attack me at any given time as well as uh, making sure I get uh, an attack on others. Damn, two on this side. I have at least four, probably five or six in this battle. There's four, and then there's one or two in the up left top corner. So, five. Uh, and as a chocobo, of course, he's going to get an attack. This may not work. I'm very lucky that the amount equals exactly one less than what I can do. So I, I've still got a chance. If I had moved plus one, it would have been a much better chance because I could have been in the corner now. He would come and attack me in the corner and then I would kill him and I would have a buffer, and, which would give me time to heal. I'm not gonna have that and that's that's gonna be critical. Because, yeah, unless I dodge this at 10% chance, which did not happen. Yeah, I think this run is done, folks. Yeah, definitely done. I mean, I could have moved in the corner and give, mess, give myself a shot, but... Uh, it was always about luck, and I'm going to just have to start over uh, and hope for four or fewer in this first run, in this first grind. I suppose I could grind in Sweetie Wood, uh, the story battle. I would have, I would have Delita and Aldis with me, but I don't want to rely on them too much. I know, I know from experience. I did this a couple years ago, and I'm, I was able, I was able to grind in, on my own, and I, I, th I think, I think I should still do it. I'd like to at least be a knight by the time we get to the Sweetie Wood. And I don't want to be a knight until I have mood plus one. Because knights are just tanks. They have terrible range of movement. Right, let's go to Mandalia Plain. Everything should be fine because I just saved it right before. Yeah, it's just about luck. Uh, let's try it again. Since in that last battle, um, Chocobos especially got movement before my guy did, before Ramsay did, I'm gonna I'm gonna position him in the back center. That way, even if Chocobos gonna move first, they will not be able to strike me first. better one there so max five more likely four or three there's three total probably four with an extra one in the corner there we go this is manageable good compatibility with that guy and the play here Is 
is to move him to the corner. So that when he dies, he's, his corpse will be a buffer between me and the rest of the enemies. So I should have moved here first, and then he would have attacked me here. I could have attacked him, and then retreated to the corner and finished him off in the corner. But... So this guy's gonna get his turn first. Yeah, I think I've, I think I've already messed it up. What's going to happen now is they're going to move in, attack me, and then stay. And then they'll move in, move away, and I won't be able to finish them in time. So there's going to be multiple hits on me before I can finish anyone. But I do have items, I do have potions, it's not completely lost yet. The other tricky thing is they've got healing ability as well. Um, and they've also got counterattacks, which is very unfortunate. And he's going to take another two hits to finish, which is not ideal. Just cut off my path to the corner. But the damage is low enough, I could sustain myself for a while on potions. Okay, two hits of heal, either one of those. He'll do me for 18, which will just about kill me. But I can finish off this guy. <laughs> Never mind. If I hit him and then hit him and then waited and then hit him again, I could have finished him off. thing is this one's still not over because I can still heal. And in the corner I can limit the amount of hits they can get on me. Some luck finally. Okay, based on his CT, I'm gonna try to finish him. If I do a hit and wait, I might get my turn before him. Kirkus, let's hope. I 
just want to see. 64, 64. Damn, Kirkus is going to move first. Well, it was a calculated risk. And he heals him anyway. Damn. Yeah, with Chocobos, I don't know. I really might be better off grinding in Sweetie Wood. But we're going to keep trying. This is not over yet. And he did have a net loss of 10. So... That's something. And the one who can hurt me the most is the Chocobo who did the healing. The rest of them are taking about 10 each. I can sustain 3 hits for every potion I use. Counter attacks are going to suck there. Chocobo's healing are going to suck, though. I can still finish that guy in one hit, though. He's going to move away. That's going to suck. I'm going to heal if I don't die. These Chocobos, Chocobos are going to make a, a very long fight. I might actually run through this entire stack of potions. I should have bought as many as I could hold. Chocobo's going to take three hits to kill because he had an HP gain when he leveled up. CT is very low. Uh, if he counterattacks, I'm dead. And I'm going to risk it because I can finish him. And that's going to be so critical. Because if I wait, not only will I have a Chocobo dead, I'll also have a buffer. I'll be locked in the corner. I'll be able to heal all the way. 15%, don't miss. There we go. Now we're cooking with gas. Rinse, repeat, and level the hell up. Suddenly I'm a full strength Ramza against three beasts. I hope it's the goblin on the rocks that gets this. Unless it's a treasure chest and then it doesn't matter. I'm definitely not going to get it no matter what. in good shape. Uh, they can only do 10, 10 damage each. I can heal for 30 every time I use a potion. Counter attacks are going to suck, but they're not going to they're not going to end my world. And we're in, we're in really good shape. He might heal that guy. That'll suck. But he won't. Uh, they're programmed to only heal them if they're at a certain threshold. I wonder if it's about 50% or... I don't know. I don't know what the damage threshold is for triggering when a chocobo will or will not heal but he is definitely critical now he's gonna hit me someone else will hit me i'll need to heal but we're in very good shape now This is 
still gonna take forever though with that guy healing. Well, I think I got plenty of potions now. Come on. thing to do is to separate not be next to each other so they don't all heal all at once runs away far enough hopefully 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 they won't heal eat everyone yeah they can't heal them both now so we'll see how it goes he's gonna heal the weaker one and then if I can get two shots before anyone else gets a turn, depending on the CTs. He's got a CT5, he's got a CT2. I can get two shots on this guy before he runs away. It's gonna be risky if I miss any counters. But no counter, no miss, we're in good shape. He's gonna move close, and then it's my turn again. There we go. Two down. And it's refueling time. And you better believe I'm going to spend a whole 30 point potion on 6 HP. So now instead of 6 hits, it'll take 7 hits to kill me. I should have bought throw a stone. I was always thinking uh, that would have actually been useful because I could spend some of these extra turns uh, picking off a few points on their HP. But you know, it is now. I'm going to have plenty of uh, the JP for anything I want. Now I could get that treasure chest. That would be lovely, wouldn't you think? But no, sir. I want to be in my lovely little hiding hole. It was just some type of ether. Not a big deal. No big loss. A uh, hundred gil if I sold a regular ether. Not that critical to get. Dodge. Okay, he's going to attack. Uh, he's going to move, though, which I don't want to see. I was, uh, it would be nice if he stayed and then I could get a double turn on him. That's, that's really the only the only way I've been effective in killing these guys is getting two, two to one on the turn ratio. But, uh, I, don't, I really don't want to move. I'm just going to heal. I don't need the full potion, but I'm going to use it. Because I want them to come to me. Because I really, I don't want to be attacked on two sides. I, I got enough HP to just about deal with it, but I really don't need to be risking it. Yes, run away so you can't heal your friend. That is what we want to see. Um, his friend might be able to run away, though. No, yes. And the game is won. Yes, to be thorough. Gonna top myself off. 
He's gonna come closer. I'm gonna hit him by the side. He'll heal. And then... Oh, he's a smart cookie. Well, I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna hit him on the front. Uh, he will probably heal. But that's okay. We'll just whittle him down. I decided to wait because I knew he would move and he would attack, which would make his uh, CT gauge feel slower. See, so he's on a CT. Ah, he was on a CT too. I was thinking I'd get a two for one. I'm not gonna get a two for one. In fact, I'm not even gonna go one for one. That was very unfortunate. He's gonna use the crystal too. Oh no, he can't reach it. Uh, he is smart though. He's gonna cut me off from the crystal. He's gonna use the crystal. So attacking him on this turn is pointless. Instead, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move away from him, but within range of the crystal, I'm gonna heal myself. And so I'll be full, he'll be full, unless he decides to attack me, in which case he's made a mistake. He's made a mistake. Uh, he's gonna attack me, I'm gonna attack him. He might counterattack, he might not. Doesn't matter, because I'm gonna top off on the crystal. Mostly just to make sure he doesn't get it. I thought about his CT is low, his CT is 24. I thought if I wait, maybe I'll get a turn boost, but I don't I don't trust it, so I'm just gonna eliminate his ability to heal with the with the crystal. He's gonna heal anyway, but he's not full. He's still within two of dying. He's gonna run away. If he heals again, that's gonna annoy me. But he's even if he did heal again, he's gonna be within two of dying. Okay, I think my opportunity is coming up slowly but surely. I'm gaining on his CT gauge. He's got a CT of four. I'm not gonna move to attack him on the side. I'm gonna risk it on the front. I'm gonna wait, and I'm gonna finish him. That is all she wrote. Those battles are tough, uh, but very well re rewarding. Um, you, you learn a lot about the battle mechanics, or, or really, you need a lot of knowledge about the battle mechanics to, to succeed in these kinds of battles. Uh, and you really just kind of exploit the mechanics as they are. Um, but it is doable. Uh, mostly it's about distancing yourself against from the enemy, minimizing the points of contact they have. Very, very doable. But it gets harder. Um, this was only really doable because their damage output was so low. Uh, as you level up and as they level with you, their damage output matches and then quickly exceeds your own. Um, and so you really gotta plan Plan your strategies well. I, mean, I might as well get counter tackle while I can. At least to have some counter ability. Um, I know I said to myself throw a stone would have been nice, but that was like. Um, only a situational kind of thing. Yell and accumulate are where it's at. In fact, yell and accumulate is how I'm going to survive uh, the Wygraph battle in uh, the end of chapter chapter three or chapter two. Uh, my my childhood memories running running into each other. As you can tell, I didn't do extensive planning for this this run. I'm just I'm just kind of, kind of just going, seeing seeing what I can what I can get by with. Uh, otherwise, I would definitely know which chapter is the end uh, is Ryvain's castle. What do I want to do next? 
definitely need to be a knight. I think that's the next thing to do. I like the idea of being a wizard and being able to turn people into frogs, but the grind as a wizard is going to be so tricky, because mainly just because your HP threshold is so low. Uh, I could potentially grind as a knight and get equip armor, but that's such a, an expensive JP cost. I'd rather spend that JP on power break and speed break and then transfer to a monk. I think monk is what's going to see me through most of the game, uh, if not the whole game. I'll probably dabble and try to grind a little bit. Like if I'm high enough level over the, the main mission level, I will definitely grind on some other stuff, some fun stuff like getting a ninja uh, so I can be a dual wielding monk. That's that's going to be awesome. But we'll, we'll see if that comes to pass down the road in future episodes. Uh, for right now, we'll change into a knight. Um, I would like to have my squire abilities accumulate and yell. But until I get a... Uh, uh, a counter ability that restores my HP, like auto potion, something like that. I'm just gonna always need the item ability. Uh, don't forget my move plus one. And definitely go to the store and get some equipment. Buy just a few Phoenix Dance just in case my buddies need them. My guests in the party obviously won't be using them on party members. Speaking of which, let's just go ahead. This is a Ramza only run. Nope, I'm not going to regret it later. I told you I'm not going to regret it. No, actually, we haven't been through anything together. I, I left you on the bench. Uh, nope, uh, you cannot go with me. Nope, you're kind of repetitive there, bro. Uh, selfish. Yeah, no, kind of the opposite, because I am gravely endangering myself by getting rid of you. Uh, I do want to make sure these guys are kitted out better. Uh, what can they do? I think being knights are going to be the best option. Maybe archer, just for the range, but archers, the damage output early game is so low. I think I'm just going to make them both be knights. Ah, and I wasted all my money buying potions. Well, I'm not so much wasted, but I just I cleared out my bank accounts. So I need to sell my extra stuff that I got from getting rid of those people. I'm going to hang on to that dagger just in case I need something like it later. I may well not end up needing it, but uh, I'm not going to need any holy water, not going to need a remedy, a soft uh, remedy, though is the only thing really worth selling. Softs are worth 50. Uh, let's see if that's enough for what I need. to at least get him armor or a helmet, one or the other. So I will sell this stuff I won't need. Oh yeah, and the ethers, of course. 300 for high ether, 100 for an ether. Uh, eventually I might use an next potion, but probably not if I won't ever learn the ability to use it. So... I don't 
think I can afford a shield. 400. Yeah, even if I th sold my stock of high potions, I wouldn't be able to afford it. That's good enough for now. They don't need shields. Uh, definitely going to save it because random encounters are no longer quick and easy things. Every random encounter is a fight for your life. And we got nine. It's only saves coming if you load it real quick. I'm not planning on loading, reloading anything. If something doesn't go my way, I'm just going to try to fight through it. Okay, so I think for this episode, we've got time enough for one more battle. And let us see what it shall hold for us. This one is unique, not exactly unique, but it's uh, atypical for um, for story battles because the enemies do scale and level with you. So by grinding before this one, I may have done myself a slight disservice because Delita and um, Delita and Algus are still only level two or three, very low level. Uh, compared to me at six, almost seven. So hopefully the enemies do not overwhelm us. Uh, but honestly, it shouldn't be any harder than the last random battle. There are no chocobos. I can always fall back to my uh, my survival strategies and let let Delita and Ramza fall if they, or Delita and Algus fall if they must. What rotten luck, meeting monsters in a place like this. Don't gripe, Algus. It's better than guarding a castle. This is a matter of life and death. How can you say that? Enough. Here they come. Level 2, Delita, level 3, Algus. Not, not well positioned to deal with these level 6 monsters. But, never say never, because we can still do it. Uh, he'll be able to, yeah, he'll be able to hit me either way. I think I want to focus on the goblin here. Anytime I, I manage to not get a counterattack is a good day. That's, that's going to make the difference between having to heal constantly and only occasionally. Hey, my counter working. Nice. Often those counterattacks will trigger is dependent upon um, your uh, your bravery level. The higher the bravery, the more likely it'll trigger. I definitely want to take out the bomb over by Delita before he explodes. Uh, the one over August could explode for all I care. He's not likely to though because he's not HP critical. Don't poison me. That's good. I can handle a little, little stretch. And a counter. Nice. Oh, strong counter. That is good. The decision to get counter tackle versus throw stone. 100% paying off.
The spider's low level. The leader's got a pretty solid damage output. August will finish off the bomb. They're looking pretty good. Want to see my damage? Um, this is movement range four. I could run away if I need to. So my predicament is if I attack him and he counterattacks, I'm only one hit away from dying. So I think the smart play is to heal. Uh, in my in my normal run throughs, when I have a full party, I tend to be a risk taker and just push the envelope, try to get the guys killed as quickly as possible. I uh, can't really afford to do that in this run. Oh, this is in bad shape. He's gonna die. I'm not gonna waste the Phoenix down on him. I only really got those Phoenix downs for situations that, like, the only way I can win is if I revive my ally. But if the wind is in sight, I'm not going to bother with it. And he's got his own back, so he's doing fine. And they can't reach him there. Uh, Delete is going to finish off that. Well, maybe he will. He'll try to, but he's going to do a head on attack and run away. I'm going to let him try. over here and help out with the goblins. Probably don't need that potion, but never hurts to be careful. Yeah, his head on attack works. He's going to run away. And Alvis is going to attack. I'm not the only one who hates Algus. He's, been, he's doing a good job. The little guy, he's, he's doing good. This one, definitely a walk in the park compared to the last one. And Algus wastes another potion, of course. Uh, I didn't have to risk it, but I kind of wanted to collect the chest on this turn. Got an ether. I don't think I've ever used an ether in my life in this game. Uh, always sell them. forest and we're almost to Dorder.
think is going to conclude this episode and next time join me for daughter trade city my old nemesis the nemesis of many um there are countless countless promising tactical play rpgers whose careers were ended in this city because of the difficulty spike um not so this time because i am over leveled um so even though it's only going to be three on however many um six i believe there's three archers one doesn't have a bow two two mages and one knight it's going to be three on six but i'm over leveled and it's going to be a bloodbath going the other way join me for that and i will see you next time appreciate the views and have a good one